What happened to Brian Supra in the Fast and the Furious? Basically, today we're going to be going over the story of the Supra and what's happened to it in this current point. As in Fast and Furious 10, we have been shown a little bit about the Supra. This is where it all started. In the scene, we don't really learn too much about the car, but we do learn it's got a TJ8Z engine. It popped the hood. Popped the hood? Popped the hood. 2JZ engine, no shit. We also get our first hearing about race wars, and this is quite important in the movie. There's a showdown in the desert called Race Wars, and that's where you do it. We then go on and then Jesse does his MIT thing, learn about his ADD and all of that stuff. They build a Supra and then you know Brian and me go out to dinner. And then we get to the best scene in the whole entire film. Every single time I watch that scene, I just feel so cool. I mean, like, it just, like, it just, he skids it around and you just see, and that is the, the complete, like, perfect super, and that just looks so nice. It just sounds so good. All right, on to the next bit, when they race the Ferrari. So they pull up, what's the retail on one of those, and then Dom's, like, smoke them, and then Brian just rocket ships past the Ferrari. So after winning that race they go on have the shrimp scene or whatever and then it's like the race wars. Basically Brian Supra doesn't actually do much about race wars so I'm not going to show any of the clips of it. He doesn't race or anything, I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity. I mean they were caught up with Jesse so it makes sense. So then they basically go on to the truck guy scene and then this is where he loses the target top and that's basically gone because it's smashed onto the ground so we can confirm there is now no target top on the Supra. Then have the scene where they chase through the mountains and it's pretty sick so I'll just show a couple of the stunts here in the background and then we end to the final race. I used to drag here back in high school. That railroad crossing up there is exactly a quarter mile away from here. On green I'm going for it. So they go on they have their race done. Dom crashes the charger and then Brian does this. I owe you a 10 second car. And it drives away into the sunset never to be seen again. Or so I thought until I saw Fast and Furious 10 the other day. Warning, this video contains Fast Furious 10 spoilers. So there's a scene in Fast X where basically Dom breaks into the old abandoned police station, um, which he's chasing down the, uh, Dante Reyes, and there's pictures of the, there's a picture of the Supra on the massive screen. Here's a screenshot of it here. And if I'm completely correct, I don't think it's a picture from any other film, so it is clear that this is when Dom probably drove it away, and we know that the car is still alive and intact to this day. So there is what happened to Brian Supra, if you'd like to see more Fast and Furious videos, here is the first one I made, it's on the screen now, and yeah, thank you all for watching, have a great day.